Yeah, fake friends. Hmm. Bible verses about fake friends. What a blessing it is from God to have good friends. But from elementary school to college, we've all had fake friends. I would like to start off by even saying our best friends can make mistakes. Remember, no one is perfect. The difference between a good friend who helped to do something you didn't like and a fake friend is a good friend that does not keep on doing bad to you. You can talk to that person and tell them anything and they will hear your words because they love you. A fake friend doesn't care how you feel and continues to put down you down even after you've talked to them. They're usually haters from personal experience. Many fake people don't understand they're fake. Their personality is just being authentic. They are selfish and they will always put you down. They didn't, don't think that they are being fake. When these friends stop talking to you, they start talking about you. When making new friends, don't choose people who will only bring you down and draw you away from Christ. Try fitting in. Trying to fit in is never worth it. Before we get to scriptures, let's find out how to identify them. Quotes, fake friends are like shadows. Always near you at brightest moments, but nowhere to be seen in your darkest hour. True friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but they're always here. True friends are always there for you. Fake friends only appear when they need something from you. Time alone can prove the worth of a friendship. As time goes by, we lose the false ones and keep the best. True friends stay when all the rest are gone. An insafere and evil friend is more to be feared than a wild beast. A wild beast may wound your body, but an evil friend will wound your mind. True friends will always find a way to help you. Fake friends will always find an excuse. How to spot a fake friend? They are two-faced. They smile and laugh with you, but then slander behind your back. They want to know your information and secrets so they can gossip to others. They are always gossiping about their other friends. When you're alone with each other, that's never a problem, but when others are around, they consistently try to make you look bad. They always belittle you, your talents, your accomplishments. They always make fun of you. Everything is a competition to them. They always try to one-up you. They purposely give you bad advice so you don't succeed or surpass them in something. When they are around others, they make act like they don't know you. When you make a mistake, they always gloat. They use you for what you have and know. They always try to take advantage of you. They are never there when you need them. In your time of need and when you're going through bad things, they run. They never build you up and make you a better person, but will always bring you down. They close their mouths at the wrong time. They let you go down the wrong path and allow you to make mistakes. They are critical. They always see the bad. They never see the good. And they are manipulative. Yeah. It's a sad, sad thing that you know, people never remember the good things. They only remember the bad. You'll know them by their fruits, Matthew 7.16. You can identify them by their fruits, that is, by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Proverbs 20.11. Even small children are known by their actions. So is their conduct, really pure and upright. Their words do not cooperate with their hearts. They love to flatter. They give fake smiles and many times they compliment you and insult you at the same time. Psalms 55:21. His words are as smooth as butter, but in his heart is war. His words are as soothing as lotion, but underneath are daggers. Matthew 22:15-17. Then the Pharisees met together to plot how to trap Jesus into saying something for which he could be arrested. They sent some of their disciples, along with the supporters of Herod, to meet them. Teacher, they said, we know how honest you are. You teach the way of God truthfully. You are impartial and don't play favorites. Now tell us, what do you think about this? Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus knew their evil motives. You hypocrites, he said. Why are you trying to trap me? Proverbs 26, 23, 25. Smooth words may hide a wicked heart, just as pretty glaze covers a clay's pot. People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but they don't, don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. Psalms 28, 3. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, those who speak friendly words to their neighbours while planning evil in their hearts. They are backstabbers. Psalms 41, 9. Even my close friend, someone I trusted, one who shared my bread, has turned against me. Luke 22, 47, 48. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up and the man who called Jesus was one of the twelve was leading him. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus said, Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? They want to know everything, not because they care, but so they can gossip. Psalms 41, 5, 6. But my enemies say nothing but evil about me. How soon will he die and be forgotten, they asked. 
They visit me as if they were my friends, but all the while they gather gossip, and when they leave, they spread it everywhere. Proverbs 11.3 A gossip goes around telling secrets, but those who are trustworthy can keep confidence. Proverbs 16.28 A perverse person stirs up conflicts, and gossip separates close friends. They are always talking bad about others. Imagine how they talk about you when you're not around. Proverbs 20.19 A gossip betrays a confidence, so avoid anyone who talks too much. Jeremiah 9.4 Beware of your friends. Do not trust anyone in your clan, for every one of them is a deceiver and every one friend is a slanderer. Leviticus 19.16 Do not spread slanderous gossip among your people. Do not stand idly by when your neighbor's life is threatened. I am the Lord. They are bad influences. They want to see you go down because they are going down. In Proverbs 4, 13, 21. Always remember what you have been taught and don't let go of it. Keep all that you have learned and it's the most important thing in life. Don't follow the ways of the wicked. Do what e don't do what evil people do. Avoid their ways and don't follow them. Stay away from them. Keep going. Because they cannot sleep until they do evil. They cannot rest until they harm someone. They feast on wickedness and cruelty as if they were eating bread and drinking wine. The way of a good person is like the light of the dawn, growing brighter and brighter until full daylight. But the wicked walk around in the dark, they can't even see what makes them stumble. My child, pay attention to my words, listen closely to what I say. Don't ever forget my words, keep them in mind. 1 Corinthians 15, 34 Do not be fooled, bad companions ruin good character. Come back to your right senses and stop your sinful ways. I declare to shame that some of you do not know God. Proverbs 12:26 The righteous choose their friends carefully but by the way of the wicked leads them astray. Matthew 5:29:30 So if your right eye causes you to sin tear it out and throw it away. It's better for you to lose part of your body than to have it all thrown into hell. And if you lose your right hand leads you to sin cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose that a part of your body than have it all go to hell. Enemies encourage bad decisions while good friends tell you the truth even if it hurts. Proverbs 27, 5, 6. An open rebuke is better than a hidden love. Wounds from a sincere friend are better than many kisses from an enemy. They use and take advantage of you. You're only friends when you're helping them. Proverbs 27, 6. Do not take advantage of each other, but fear your God. I am your Lord God. They are stingy. Proverbs 23, 6, 7. Do not eat peop with people who are stingy. Don't desire their delicacy. For he is kind of a person who is always thinking about the cost. Eat and drink. He says to you, but in his heart, he is not with you. When you have something to offer them, they stay, but as soon as you don't, they leave. Proverbs 19, 6, 7. Many curry flavor with a ruler, and everyone is the friend of one who gives. The poor are shunned all by their relatives. How much more do their friends avoid them? Though the poor pursue them with pleading, they are nowhere to be found. When you're in trouble, they are nowhere to be found. Psalms 38, 10, 11. My heart pounds, my strength fails me, even the light has gone from my eyes. My friends and companions avoid me because of my wounds. My neighbours stay far away. Psalms 31, 11. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbours. Even my friends are afraid to come near me. When they see me on the street, they run out of way. Freight friends turn into foes. Psalms 55, 12, 14. If an enemy were insulting me, I could endure it. If a foe were arising against me, I could hide. But it is you, a man like myself, my companion, my close friend, with whom I once enjoyed a sweet fellowship at the house of God as we walked among the worshippers. Reminder, never try to get revenge on anyone and always continue to love your enemies. Raise your vibrations. Much love. Bye.